<laughs> Sounds awful. How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're gonna fix that atrocious muffled crackling distorted buzzing sound that's coming out of our MacBook Pro speaker. It might be your left speaker, it might be your right speaker, but the problem is probably a busted speaker inside your computer and that's what we're going to replace in today's video. It's not too complicated of a fix and hopefully this tutorial will help. We're working on a 2019 MacBook Pro 16 inch, but this tutorial will work for many, many other models. There's a lot of overlap in the tech and the repairing process. It'll work with 2016 MacBook Pros, 2017 MacBook Pros, 2018, 2019 MacBook Pros, some 2020 MacBook Pros, 13 inch, 15 inch, 16 inch, M1 chips, i7, i9, you name it, there's gonna be similarities, if not the same thing going on in the repair. So do keep that in mind. If you have a different laptop, this video can still be a very valuable guide. Do repairs at your own risk. If you have any concerns in your own skill level, ask a friend or a family member that is a little more repair savvy DIY to help you with this repair. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. There is a video index in the description so you can skip around, save yourself some time, and let's get into the tutorial. The items you're gonna need for this repair, an Apple Pentalobe screwdriver to remove the screws on the bottom of the case, a sock filled with rice that you're gonna microwave in order to loosen up the adhesive of the speaker inside of your computer, some prying tools to help get off the bottom case and to help get off the speaker, a replacement speaker. However, after doing this tutorial, I believe that you could get away with removing your speaker, inspecting it for foreign material, specifically metal that has found its way to the bottom magnet that you can't see unless you remove the speaker completely. You might not need a replacement speaker, but your mileage may vary. Some double-sided tape adhesive stuff. This is some pretty well-known stuff in the industry. And you're gonna need some scissors to custom cut and to recreate adhesive that you have damaged while prying up your Apple speaker. At least that's what I had to do. Maybe you'll pry up your speaker better than I did. Take your time, be careful, and this repair shouldn't be that difficult. First thing you're gonna to need to do is isolate what speaker the problem's coming from. And the way that you do that is you go to your settings preferences down there. It's the little gearbox, click on that. You should see where it says sound. There's a little icon of a speaker. And then there is a balance left and right. We're gonna play some music, go to those preferences. And then we're gonna go all the way right. And we're gonna go to the middle. We're gonna go all the way left. You might need your sound at a specific level to hear the distortion, but as you can hear, as I go to the right, the distortion's gone. As I go to the left, the distortion is awful. That isolates our problem to the left speaker. That way, you know you only need to get a replacement of that speaker instead of having to buy a pair. Now that we've isolated where the speaker problem is, we're going to shut down our computer, turn this bad boy over, and we're going to take off this back panel. You are going to need the specific Apple Pentalobe screwdriver in order to take off these six Apple proprietary Pentalobe screws on the bottom. If you do not use the right tool, you could end up stripping the screws, causing yourself more problem and headache than you started with in the first place. Now we're gonna remove all six screws. and we're gonna put those screws to the side. The back two are longer than the front four, so reinstallation, you won't get confused. Now this part can get a little bit tricky. We're gonna use a suction cup. We're gonna press down the suction cup right next to this foot, and we're gonna pull up on the corner, allowing us to get this pick underneath, and we're gonna slide that pick to where there's a clip about right here on the machine. There we go, we got that clip off. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Suction cup, pull up, get our tool wedge. I'm only sticking my tool in a tiny little bit. You don't want to damage any of the components on the side here, so do be aware of that. You wanna use something plastic rather than something metal so you don't scratch your aluminum casing. There are two more clips in the middle here that you can get by moving your suction cup and pulling 
And once you release those clips, you'll be able to see a lot of space on the sides in this part of the laptop. But we're not done yet. We need to slide this casing towards us from the back side, this direction. There is a little bit of a hooking design to it. As you can see, there's a gap forming right here and right here. The bottom case will pop off. While you have this case off, it's a good time to clean out the dust that's on it. So just take a damp rag and wipe all of that dust, dirt and dander off of your bottom case. It's also a good time to grab a Q-tip and clean the fans if you see a lot of nasty dust on yours. Now remember, the speakers now are in opposite directions because we flipped the computer over. So this is now the left speaker and this is now the right speaker. We're going to now remove the speaker ribbon cable and you need to pry up this little piece of adhesive. And then there's a little mechanism you need to lift like that. And once that's lifted, it will allow the ribbon cable to gently come out of the logic board like that. This speaker is held in only by adhesive. There's no screws holding it in and we're going to have to loosen that adhesive using a sock filled with rice, put in the microwave for a couple of minutes. You don't wanna hit it with a heat gun. You don't wanna hit it with a hairdryer. The rice in the sock is very non-threatening to your Mac. So we left that on for a few minutes. Now we're going to turn the laptop over, take a small prying tool, this one is made out of metal. If you have a strong plastic one, you can use that. You don't wanna mess up the battery and accidentally set your house on fire. And we're gonna start down here at the corner and just get it underneath and start prying upwards. You'll hear the adhesive starting to release. You wanna be very gentle with this. And it's very possible that you might break the speaker prying it up like I am right now. That means I probably didn't have enough heat on the adhesive, but this is the damaged speaker anyways, so we're just going to remove it like this. You're probably gonna junk up the adhesive like I did right here. I'm gonna take a small X-Acto knife and I'm just going to cut off the pieces of the adhesive that are not flat because we are going to want the speaker to lay flat and bundled up adhesive is going to be an issue. Looking at the removed speaker, I can see there's some metal attached to it that may have caused some cracking at higher volume with the pieces of metal in there vibrating, which would mean that some sort of metal was made loose in here and then just magneted to the speaker at some point, and then that material was vibrating, creating the noise. That's my guess. Now we're gonna move this board out of the way, and we're gonna make room for our donor. I bought this off of eBay for $100, and we're gonna remove one of these speakers to use as a replacement. However, you could buy just the single speaker, whatever's easier for you. I'm gonna try to remove this one a little bit better. I don't think I use enough heat on the ricin sock on the other board. I put this in for three and a half minutes and I let it sit on the board for a couple of minutes and I'm actually going to pry it up while it's underneath like this. That way I'm surely not going to break this speaker when I am prying it up. So we're gonna do the same thing from the corner. Then I'm gonna slide this pick and put an upward pressure while working around the rest of the speaker. And this one came up a lot easier than the other one. Look at that, the adhesive is almost completely intact and reusable. The only portion that's a little bit damaged of adhesive is up at the top here, but the rest of this would be totally reusable. And now that the speaker's out, I'm gonna move this to the side. You're gonna wanna make sure you clean and inspect the speaker to make sure that there isn't any material stuck or metal stuck to the magnet. Ideally, you're not gonna wanna damage the adhesive, but that's probably not gonna happen. And if you did damage some of the adhesive like me, you can use some of this double-sided adhesive tape. If you're familiar with it in the repair industry, just cut off 
some pieces and you'll add it wherever needed accordingly. The adhesive will help the speaker seat where it needs to be as well as the acoustics of how it was designed by Apple. After you've added some adhesive if needed, it's hard to see, but I added adhesive here, here, and here just by cutting a piece of it off and putting it on the computer and then peeling the back of the adhesive. After you've added some adhesive if needed, you're going to place the speaker into the spot. It seats right here only one way and then it should seat itself down here. And then you're going to press down, mating the speaker to that adhesive. Then we're gonna go back up here to this connector. Make sure the connector is open. We're going to grab that ribbon cable, press it into the logic board. You can use a tweezer if you have to. Grab it and press it in. Then you're going to flip that switch down locking that in place. At this point in the project, you should be able to open the laptop up, test the speaker by letting the computer turn on. So before putting the bottom case back on, you're gonna wanna make sure that the speaker is working correctly. So we booted the laptop up, opened up some music, jacked the volume all the way up, and we're still isolated to the problem speaker, which is the left speaker. We're gonna play it. Sounds so much better. I can balance it in the middle. It sounds exactly the same. It was indeed a busted speaker or it was just a little bit of metal on the side of the speaker that I couldn't get to until I pried the speaker off. So if I was able to be a little bit more gentle on the speaker, I probably could have reused it, pulled the metal off, cleaned it, and then gotten rid of that crackling that way, which I would recommend trying if you're on a budget. But now that we know that it's working, let's put the bottom case back on. Getting the bottom case back on can be a pain in the butt. You're gonna line up the back here to try to make it flush on this side, flush on this side. And then you're gonna have to get the hooks that are on this side of the case to the hooks that are right here. You're gonna lift this side of the case. As everything is lined up, you're gonna slide one side on and then you're gonna slide the other side on. You can make micro adjustments left and right to make sure that the screw holes are lined up. Once you have them lined up, you're gonna push the case from this side. You're gonna push it to make it flush up against the back there and then you'll press down on the sides where those clips are. Those clips should lock into place. There's one here, one here, one here, and one here. That should make everything absolutely flush. If it's not flush, you'll have to undo these clips and then reseat the bottom case by sliding it. Now we're going to reinstall the screws. The long screws go in the back here. And then the small screws go in the front here. Once the bottom case is done, we can deem the repair complete. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. Aren't already subscribed to the channel? Subscribe so you don't miss another project. If you have any questions about this repair, throw them in the comment section. If you've done this repair and you were able to salvage your speaker and just remove the metal shards that were on the speaker, let me know about it in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.